Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to Freaky Friday here on IO2. My name is Dave Wapple, and let's get real. So before we jump into this video, guys, you know what we ask questions, and in my last video, I asked you guys, where was the last place you vacationed, and tell me all about it. You guys had some pretty good responses, I'll be real. For me, I went to Boston, that was my favorite vacation. But for this video, considering it's Freaky Friday, I like to get into the supernatural of things. I wanna know, do you believe in the supernatural? And have you also experienced it? Yeah. So yeah, we're talking about Charlie Charlie, it's that new trend that everybody's going crazy about. I told you. It's fake! Charlie, Charlie, are you... What the f- Charlie, have you ever killed anybody? Yo, I'm leaving. Please keep going. I'm freaking leaving. Please keep going. Please keep going. What the f- Jesse! To be real, the answers are based off of gravity or some kid blowing on it. It has nothing to do with a demon, but it's good fun. But everyone's speculating, what does this Charlie Charlie demon look like? Apparently he's a Mexican demon with the worst name for a demon. I feel like he must be like the Rudolph of the reindeers of demons. He's just been kicked out and given the worst name. Now some people have said they've seen the demon and he rocks a sombrero. Wow, he's a Mexican demon. I didn't know you could be supernatural and racist. So speaking of spooks, let's move on to the Wiccan culture. Aaron the Wizard recently passed away. I don't even know who this guy was, but his name was Ian Wilson. Now he passed away at the age of 62 and his final wish was to have a Wiccan funeral. So that's right, man. Over a hundred people showed up dressed as witches and all that jazz because this guy used to be really respected in the Wiccan universe or world or culture. But here's my question for you. Have you guys ever had false recognition? That's right, where you see the face of a dead relative, lover, or friend in the face of other people. Richard Norris recently went under the knife in a very famous operation. In 1997, Norris blew his face off with a shotgun and he looked like this. But it's been years later and this guy got the world's first face transplant. Rebecca Eversano and her family donated Joshua's face after he died in a car accident. In 2012, he went into a surgery that included 150 doctors and 36 hours of manpower. But since the surgery, now him and Rebecca have finally met. And Rebecca was freaking blown away man by she's like whoa this looks exactly like my brother anyways guys thanks for watching that's me here at io2 it's been freaky it's been friday and yeah enjoy the rest of your weekend guys my name is dave wapple been io2 and you know i say it on io keep it real keep it close keep it on the flip side out there mm -mm. in the real world later